Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 101. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to hop on and record a video real fast. <laughs> Dude, it's really um, glary. Let me let me try something. Okay, that's a little bit better, I guess. Okay, so uh, I wanted to hop back on and record a video. I was gonna, I had planned to record this video earlier, and also another video that I'm gonna try to record today. <laughs> for this channel, but um, we've been super busy with taking Devin back and forth to the doctor. Devin's my husband, if you're new. <laughs> and uh, so I just haven't had a chance, so I'm on here now. And uh, Jesse's here, he's running around the house playing, so he might pop up. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to angle it to where if he does come in here, if he's in his underwear, because I can't remember if he is, I think he is. He won't be able to see it. But um, I got a big stack of bags here that I'm gonna be working on this week. But yeah, so I got, um, three finished objects and two whips to share with you and I got a little bit of mail uh it's like leftover Christmas mail that came late and yeah I think that's about everything so let's hop into it all right for my finished objects um one of them is basically the same thing I made last week just a little bit smaller <laughs> and it's a dishcloth and it was um let me get my notes I've been writing down in my journal everything it is a free pattern by Snappy Tots which is Heidi Yates and she's on her blog this week, this year, she's hosting every month. Uh, she's putting out a dishcloth pattern and then a scrubby pattern for each month. So I did make January's last week, but I went ahead and made another one. I actually made this one while I was at the hospital waiting for Devin to come out. Um, because I had some of the yarn left over and I just wanted to try to use it up. And so I made this one a little bit smaller than the last one. Because the last one turned out huge. <laughs> So this one, I think instead of 30 something chains, she starts with the pattern. I did 24, I think, 25, and then uh, it's 24 stitches all together. But uh, it's the same pattern as last week. And it's made out of Burnett cotton, I'm pretty sure. That was gifted to me. So that's another one of the dishcloths. I made it smaller so I could use it for dishes. Cause the one I made last week was awful big. <laughs> so it's more like a washcloth, like for your body. So um, I wanted to make a smaller one for kitchen. And then her, that my second finished object is her um, January scrubby pattern. And again, it's free by Snappy Tots. And I'll link um, her blog below and I'll also link her Facebook group. Because she has a Facebook group called Totally Snappy. And you have to be a member of it, but she gives away patterns and all kinds of cool stuff in there all the time. So you definitely want to join that. But here's the scrubby. <laughs> it's like, um, you basically crochet, it's double thickness. And I use the rest of the red, white, blue yarn and some red that I had left over from some Christmas um, dish cloths that I made. I held them double and I used a J hook cause I didn't have a K with me at the time. <laughs> it calls for a K hook, the pattern. But uh, you basically make like a long, small dish cloth and then you fold it over and you crochet the, uh, the little ends together. That way you can put your hand in it and scrub either dishes or your body, I guess, if you want to use it for your body. And uh, yeah, I like it. It's all right. <laughs> I'm thinking about keeping some of these aside for gifts or I might actually use them just to see how I like them before I start gifting them to people. But uh, I think it's cute. Super easy. I made this, um, I read the pattern and then I ended up just taking the yarn with me to my in-laws over the weekend when we were visiting and I made it there. So those are both snappy tots. My last finished object is a cowl. Uh, I entered this, I made this because Crystal over at Chronically Crocheting is hosting a year long event where uh, every month there's gonna be a theme for you to use uh, yarn in from your stash to make stuff. This month uh, is cowls. So I made me a cowl and she said it could be Valentine's Day themed if you wanted to. And of course, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so my cowl, let me find it. It's called the V-Day Heart Cowl by Journey Chanel Designs. It was a free pattern. I used a K hook and ta -da, the colors Go figure, I showed you the seam. <laughs> the colors are Red Heart Super Saver Minty, and I'm pretty sure this other color is Flamingo. It didn't have a ball band on it, but I'm pretty sure it's Flamingo. It's like a coral color, and I thought they went good together. I was gonna do gray and pink like the pattern was, but I didn't have any gray that was already open, and I was trying to use some scraps, <laughs> even though I didn't use up all of these, but I used a good hunk of them. It's awful big though. This cowl comes in kid size and adult size because it's supposed to be like a um, a mommy and me thing. But it's still super cute and it's got like a V-stitch lace right there. I like it. And if I want to, I might gift it or donate it or something. 
I don't know if uh, regular people will know what a cowl is. So if I donate it to like a woman's shelter, I'm not sure if just regular people will know what cows are. <laughs> Cause you know, around here at least, you don't, I don't see a lot of people wearing cows, mostly scarves. <laughs> but I think it's really cute. These are supposed to look like hearts and they, they kind of do. I think they're cute. Ah, I keep showing you the seam side. <laughs> and I love this minty color. And it's really squishy and soft for Red Heart. Um, it must be one of the newer ones. But I have, I had a ball of it and then I think someone gifted me two. So I've been trying to just use it up. And uh, I'm, that's one of my goals this year is to use up this shelf right here. This is my weird yarn. It's like all my variegated and self striping and cakes. I want to try to use all that up this year. Because it's just random yarn. Like I get it just because it's pretty. And um, really, really nothing in mind to make it for make with it so I'm gonna try to just work from that only and so far I've been doing pretty good other than this but these were scraps so I guess that's another good thing <laughs> I will link Crystal uh, Crystal's channel below uh, chronically crocheting and I'll also link her Facebook group you have to join the Facebook group to jo uh, join the, the uh, crochet along I guess it is but she also takes email submissions for people who are on Facebook but uh, you can go over to her channel for more information so that'll be in the description box below Okay, that's all of my finished objects. So now I do have two whips. One is one that I had last week and one is a new one. Paper, I got paper everywhere. All right, so the one that I was working on last week was the Valentine's Day Countdown. It looks like my notes, I can't remember. Uh, it's corner to the corner and I did not write who it's by right there, but I remember it's loops and love, I think. And it's, I used H hook and it's all Red Heart Super Saver. Again, scrap balls, none of these were full balls. When I open it, where's the upside? Okay. I finished the background. <laughs> it's a big crochet heart. Corner to corner heart. Anyways, what I was saying is it's a corner to corner heart. I finished it this morning. <laughs> I, w I had about this much left, this corner. And I was wanting to finish it so bad before I filmed. <laughs> I knew I was going to film today. So Devin ran to the store to get some stuff that we needed. And I stayed here while he went. Normally I would go with him, but I was wanting to work on this. So I did finish it up uh, that much, you know, to the top to here. It was an awful lot, <laughs> but I went home and finished it. So now I got the background all done. So now what I need to work on are the pockets. I need to make 13 in this size. I made three. I haven't woven in the ends, but I made uh, three. I'm not a big fan of how holy these are though. But I guess if I put chocolates down in there, um, you know, they won't fall out because they'll be, you know, little, in little wrappers or whatever. But I gotta make 13 of this size, so I've made three. And then I gotta make one that's bigger. It's, uh, these are three by three. I think it's four by four. So it's, it's like that big. <laughs> for number 14. Then I have to figure out numbers. Um, I gotta find something that's numbered. I guess I could try to stitch it on there, but it would look weird because of the holiness. Um, the person who wrote it had buttons made with... 14 on it 1 through 14 and I thought about maybe checking Dollar Tree because I know sometimes they put out themed buttons for the see the holidays so uh maybe I don't know I'll try, I'll have to try to find a way to number them <laughs> 1 through 14 and then there are a few um crochet hearts to decorate it with and then there's one that you're supposed to move from pocket to pocket I may not make that one because I'm thinking about just putting um candies down in there for Jesse to get out <laughs> every day in February then I guess I do still need to make that one because it needs to mark what day it is. But, um, yeah, so I'm getting there. I should get this done pretty quickly because I just got to make the pockets and the hearts and sew them on and a way to hang it up and sew that on there and get it hung up and find buttons. The buttons is going to be the hardest part, I think, uh, finding buttons that is numbered 1 through 14 that aren't clashing colors. <laughs> but I'm excited about that. I was so glad to get that done. It turned out way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I just thought it was going to be like the half the size of this. But it turned out huge. I already know where I'm going to hang it. I just have to get um, get it done. And then I can hang it up. I might end up bagging it too with felt or something. Maybe fleece. I got a big hunk of purple fleece. I need some white fleece though. Or red. Um, and just to make it stiffer. So that it's not all rippled and all that on the wall. But it's super cute. And I love it. I can't wait to finish it all the way. Alright, my last whip. I started this. I was trying not to start whips. Because I'm trying to just like work on concentrate on one thing at a time. But uh, I needed a project that is mindless that I can work on when, like, if Jesse's sitting in my lap watching TV or if we're at my in-laws or somewhere. I need a, a whip that I can work on without thinking about the pattern. My hook is all tangled up. I'm pull up my loop. So I did start a shawl. 
So I've been wanting a big squishy shawl that I can snuggle up in. And it's getting close to spring here. So when it gets spring, uh, that's when my in-laws, <laughs> I talk about them all the time, but we're there all the time. They uh, have fires in their backyard and we go like eat marshmallows and stuff. And we, you know, we cook like hot dogs over it. They do that in the spring, summer, and fall. So that's about to start back up. And But you know, in spring and fall, it's kind of chilly when you're sitting out there. Even if you're by the fire, you might still get cool on the back. So I wanted to make a shawl. So I did just start a regular granny square shawl. And this is how far I got. <laughs> I was working on this last night while we were working, uh, or while we were watching the Ninja Turtles movie, the original first one. It was the 1991. We love those movies. <laughs> we're trying to get Jesse to watch them. But um, it's just regular granny square back and forth. And I don't even think I'm going to put a border on it. And the, the yarn that I'm using is a Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby last uh, early or summer ish. And it's called. Uh, I guess Barquet Ballet. I don't know how to say that. But it's 355 yards. And I'm thinking about trying to use two, maybe even three whole cakes in this. Because <laughs> I want it to be big and snuggly like a blanket. Ooh, this is how much I got out of the first cake. <laughs> so I think I could put three cakes in it and it's be big and squishy and snuggly to take with me when we're sitting over there around fires. So I think it's pretty. These colors reminded me of spring because it's, it's greens and a little bit of yellow and then purples and blues. So it kind of reminded me of flowers, like tulips or something. So um, I'm excited about it. But that's a mindless project that I can uh, just watch TV and work on because it's just double crochet clusters over and over again. And I do have a bunch more of that yarn. I do have a bunch of those cakes uh, in different colors. At least four different colors that I can remember. <laughs> Um, so I might just make a bunch of these shawls the same way and keep one for myself and then donate the rest of them to our local, um, what's it called? Nursing home. <laughs> um, you know, they might want to hand them out to some of the, the women or men if they want one there, but it's, it's getting there. I'm excited about that. It's, uh, it's fun to just have a mindless project that you can just sit and work on. It's living in my Pikachu bag that I made myself. I got the fabric for Christmas for my in-laws. <laughs> they gave me this one and another one. But the other one has a long-term whip in it that's probably never going to get done. <laughs> but uh, that's the other one. My old is itching. Yeah, so that's all my active whips. I don't have a lot to talk about today. And then my yarn bingo has been updated a smidge. Um, let's see here. I added the second dishcloth on there. And then the scrubby is on there. I couldn't find a place for the cowl, um, unless I'm going to gift that to someone and count it as a Valentine's Day gift. I guess I could get that one. and Or I could make a hat. Maybe that would count for the matching hat and scarf set because it would be kind of like a scarf. <laughs> but um, I'm getting close to a couple bingos, two different directions. And uh, I'm not picking and choosing. I'm just working on stuff and then trying to find a spot for it. But... Uh, I might be able to do some of these anyways. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but it's still fun to just look at them and do them. And my cute stickers. But yeah, let's get all this together. Alright, so that's all of my whips and finished objects. And hopefully I'll, maybe that cow will be done. Or not cow. Shaw will be done next week. Or the Valentine countdown, if I can find buttons for it. <laughs> but I did get some Happy Mail, so I wanted to share that with you guys real quick. I got a card from Melissa in Texas. I can't remember if I showed this already. I might have already shown this. She sent me this one. Thank you, Melissa. And then, now I, I do think I've showed this. I'm going to show it again. I can't remember. I feel like I did, though. <laughs> I don't know. But I got this from... Um, Jackie and Hooking a Good Company. I'm pretty sure I showed these. I remember showing these. But she sent me one of those little things that she's making um, to use up her safety eyes with the stitch markers. I remember recording this, but I can't remember if I actually uploaded it. But I got the sun and the horse. So that's cool. And a card. I'm pretty sure I already showed these last week. I can't remember. If that's the case, I need to put them where they're supposed to go and quit leaving them on my counter so that I will quit mistaking them. I guess that's everything. <laughs> I do have some bags right here. Big old stack of bags. It's 34 sets. 
and one by itself. These will be in the shop soon. I guess I could run through these real fast for you. But there's gonna be some minions. Someone requested a minion bag, so I, I got a minion yard. And then there's gonna be friends. Themed, it's upside down, but you get the gist. And then there's there's gonna be actually five of these sets because I had a lot. I bought the end of a bolt and it was on clearance, so I bought the whole thing. And then there's these cute sweets. There's gonna be two of those. And then there's the <laughs> simplicity fabric that a lot of people loved. There's gonna be four of those sets in that print. And then let's see here. I'm gonna put these back on here this way. And then there's also gonna be four of this print. Which is simplicity also, but it's different looking. And then there's gonna be four llamas. <laughs> Cause again, people requested llamas, so I got more llamas with yarn. And there's gonna be two Jack Skellingtons. And there's gonna be three Star Wars Mandala, I guess. They kinda look, they remind me, they're Sugar Scully, but Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> so they're Star Wars sugar, sugar skulls. Well, I can't say that. And then there's going to be two sets of this purple and then one bag by itself. I didn't have enough to make a third notion pouch. Or maybe I did. I can't remember. <laughs> I'll know for sure when I start sewing. The reason I haven't started sewing these yet is because I'm waiting on my new labels to come in the mail. They just shipped today. They shipped today, so I'm trying to think about. And then there's this yellow print and the green and orange stripes are little hearts two of those and then there'll be two of this print and it's uh hippie-ish it's got love and peace and stuff like that on it and then that's the rest of those of that print <laughs> there's five of those so that's all the bag that'll be up in the shop hopefully this weekend but i can't say for sure <laughs> what i'm gonna do is today and tomorrow i'm gonna work on the notion pouches the zipper bags and get them all done and then when my labels come I can start the bags and these will all be boxed bottoms because <laughs> so many people want boxed bottoms but the reason I quit making on box is because when you box uh, the bag you lose two and a half three inches of space from the bag so to me it's kind of like wasted material and wasted space but they cost the same amount because they use the same amount of material but you have to use a lot of it to box the bottom but um, I'm gonna make these ones boxed bottoms and then the next set will probably be sacks again because those are the ones I like making the most. And I usually only make boxed bottoms when people request them. So yeah, I also have two zipper bags that I wanna put out soon, but I don't have enough interfacing. I'd have to go get some more interfacing and I don't wanna do that right now because <laughs> it's a 20 minute drive. But I got all the interfacing for the Notion bags cut and I just gotta iron them and then I can start sewing them. And I'm hoping to get all these up on the shop this weekend, but it's 35 bags. <laughs> Technically it's 65, 64 bags, cause it's 34 sets, right? No, that's more than that. Cause 34 plus 34 is 68 plus, so 69 bags all together between the notion pouches and the project bags. That's a lot of sewing and um, it takes a while, so yeah. But I guess that's everything I want to share today. I do want to mention that uh, I am vlogging and sharing recipes and my weight loss journey and all that on my other channel, which is No Catchy Name Life. It'll be linked below if you're interested in checking that out. Head over there and uh, subscribe. <laughs> and um, actually, I got to film a video today about my weight loss. I do that every Monday. I'm trying to. <laughs> and I did lose weight again this week, so <laughs> go over to that channel if you want to see how much and all that stuff. And yeah, I guess that's everything. Um, yeah <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you're not and like the video and if you think someone else will like it share it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys